Well, hello, my fabulous mentors. I've got the awesome Karen Miller here, who is my naturopath, and I'm excited to have you in this interview. Thank you very much. And also being our guest blogger for the next two weeks, because I think it's really important to look at all aspects of health and well-being. And you're Absolutely. coming from a naturopathic side, so interested in asking you a few questions. So, you up for it? Absolutely, my pleasure. Um, now, Karen, you and I have actually been, uh, I've been a client of yours for some time now. I'm trying to work out how many years. I think it would probably be around about seven years now, I know. Do you think? I reckon at least seven. it's been wonderful seven. having you as my client. Oh, we get together yakking away and the poor person that follows me, I'm always, we're always making you run late, aren't we? Anyway, <laughs> look, I want to talk to you about some weight loss, you know, things. Like, so, look, what are some of the issues that people have when losing weight? Probably one of the most common mistakes people make when they're losing weight is that's exactly what they're doing. They're losing weight, but they're not looking at their whole mm. lifestyle changes. Mm. So I would like to say, rather than actually going on a diet, let's look at some lifestyle changes. Mm. So make sure that you do have a very good maintenance program in place. Yes, and, and, that, and that's part of the mentoring program. I mean, that we're looking at a lifestyle opposed to a quick fix, and dare I say that word diet, I mean, yeah, p -p 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 -p. Yes, that's right. <laughs> so. What do you think about, I, I think with food, for example, that's such an important part of everyone's life, especially my little mentors, because we all love to eat, because maybe that's our biggest problem, that we enjoy it too much. Is there certain foods that you think are particularly the king, you know, the, the ones that are really are the best, like, for example, vegetables? I would have to say broccoli is the king. Broccoli Listen to you in your accent, broccoli. Of all vegetables. Where are you yes. from? Wales, UK. Wales, yeah. okay, little mm -hmm. Welsh girl. Don't hold that against me. No, no, I love it. Um, so broccoli? I would say broccoli is the king of all vegetables um, because it has amazing antioxidant mm. quality, so that means it helps our natural detoxification system. Right. But I also would probably say try and include some of your um, seaweed-type products. So okay. sushi, because yeah. sushi contains iodine, and when you have good amounts of iodine, you're actually boosting your metabolism. And can you t get, you know, if you're low in iodine, how would you know? Well, that's a good question. Most people wouldn't know, but mm. um, some of your symptoms would be feeling bloated, feeling fatigued, um, a little bit dizzy, all those type of things. Okay. So seeing a naturopath, I feel, would be pretty important mm. to mm. have those type of um, levels checked. And so you can eat your iodine or you could take tablets? You, you can take your tablets, mm. but you, you do have to be careful with iodine mm. supplementation. That's, so I feel... Yes. Getting it from food would be the best choice. So um, sushi is sushi, is a good seaweed, thing. Seaweed, kelp. Yes. Or, or, what about or kale? Yes, kale as well. Yes. yes, I actually put that in juice. Beautiful. It doesn't make Very a lot you know, out of a leaf. You don't get a lot, but I no. think it's quite concentrated. Yeah. Okay, so what about then fruit? Is there a king of the fruit? Oh, look, I think all fruit and vegetables are going to be, you know, exceptionally good for you because they're full of vitamins mm. and minerals and, and they nourish the body. Um, but I think, um, you know, just stay with some of your lower sugary type fruits like um, apples and pears. Yes. And maybe not as much as the tropical fruits because they're yes, a little bit higher yes, absolutely. in GI and grapes as well. And things like mm. that. So it mm. doesn't mean you can't have those sugary fruits, but predominantly eat more low sugar fruits like yeah. the apples and pears. Now, another thing that um, we've discussed at great length that I wanted to mention, uh, talk to you about today was hormones. Mm. Now, that can Very really play a mm -hmm. big issue with your weight. Mm -hmm. I mean, it can also play you know, a big role in your happiness too because, you know, when you're hormonal, you're just not, not mm -hmm. always very yeah. good. So what are your thoughts on that? How can that um, be a hindrance or a help to our weight loss? Well, Annette, your hormones govern everything. It governs how you feel. Mm -hmm. It governs um, how your thyroid's functioning. It governs if you're stressed. It governs whether you're putting on weight or not. So your hormones are extremely important. And that's for men too, not just yeah, women. men and women. We yes. all have hormones. Mm. But women have a lot more of it. Absolutely. <laughs> so it's not just all about, um, you know, um, crying pregnant women and, and teenage boys with squeaky voices. We all yeah. have hormones mm. and we all have hormone imbalances. And keeping those hormones in check are extremely important, not just for health, but mm. obviously for when you're trying to lose weight. Yes, and so what can be some of the problems that happen if you have a high hormonal level? Depending on the hormone, like if you have um, high levels of estrogen or insulin or cortisol, yes. you're actually going to store fat and gain fat. Okay, so let's look at those three. So you said um, estrogen. estrogen. Mm -hmm. So what's that all about? Well, estrogen is not always the bad guy because mm. we do need estrogen. But if we have an overabundance of estrogen and our bodies aren't coping with that amount of estrogen, then what happens is the body will store it as fat. 
And oh. when we're trying to lose weight, that's important. Mm. We don't want a lot of fat. No, yes. no we don't. Mm. So having a well-balanced hormonal uh, lifestyle in your, not only in yourself, but in the choices you make with food, is there? Absolutely, like, that's where things like your broccoli come broccoli. in handy because broccoli actually helps detox estrogen out of the system. Great, oh, well, this yeah. is good, I'm, I'm excited. This. And the mm. other one was um, insulin, was it? Yeah, insulin yes. is mm. what um, is produced by the pancreas when we eat our food. And mm. that's normal. Mm. But if we're having a lot of sugary foods and carbohydrate foods, yep. then we're producing more insulin. That's not good because mm. too much insulin not only stores body fat, but can actually lead to diabetes as well. Type 2 diabetes, Absolutely. yes. Absolutely. And yes. we don't want to get that. We don't want that. No. no. And what was the other one? What was the that? other one was called cortisol. Cortisol? Yeah. Cortisol is a hormone produced by the adrenal glands. Uh huh. Your adrenal glands are your stress handling glands and oh. your energy glands. <laughs> I'm sure mine's really working over time lately, I'll tell you. <laughs> so a lot of us get stressed. Yeah. So mm. if we're really stressed and we're not coping, then you know we're producing more cortisol. Mm. And that will tend to put a lot of fat in, in the mid area. Yeah, yeah. And of course that's where it can be quite dangerous. Okay, so we need to look mm. at that and possibly if you've never been to a naturopath, maybe it's worth your while because you might get some really good solutions to some of your weight issues as well. Now quickly I want to talk about a couple of my favourite things that you've taught me about as well. Turmeric. Absolutely love it. You know, in yes. little tablets. I mean, yes. yes, you can put it in your stir fries mm -hmm. and whatever, but buying the little tablets, why is that so great? Well, we've talked about the king of vegetables. I'd say turmeric is one of the king of herbs. Ah. It is just an amazing herb. Its main um, component is called curcumin. That's the active ingredient. And it is just the most amazing herb to um, help the body detoxify. So it helps the liver and it helps the gut. Oh, Again, get rid of estrogen, but also get rid of other toxic um, things that are in the environment, like chemicals and pesticides and petrochemicals. Oh, that's fantastic. Mm. You know, I, I know I take two a day and I never miss it because I think they're so important. The other thing I really love is flax meal and I put that on my cereal. Like I buy it in a packet in the supermarket and I, I sprinkle it over my cereal or my, my papaya or something like that. What's so great about flax meal? Yeah, flaxseed is brilliant. Um, mm. It's what we call an essential fatty acid mm. um, and what it actually does is it blocks fat. Okay, so, so it's a perfect for health. It actually blocks that. Let me just loss. repeat that. That's yeah. really, I really it want to know about more about this now. Yeah. yeah. How does so it do that? So, of course, if we're storing a lot of body fat, if, if we have a hormonal issue like the estrogen mm. or the insulin, and we're storing a lot of body fat, um, something like a flaxseed um, meal can, can block that body fat and prevent you from storing that fat. No. So, very, very important. Oh, now I'm going to make sure yeah. I really have that every day now. Um, just a quick one, you know, detox or not detox? What are your thoughts? Yes, good question, Annette. Um, if we're eating well, um, mm. generally our bodies do have its own natural detoxification system. But if we're not eating well, then mm. we probably do need to every now and then give our liver and guts a bit of a rest. Mm. So what I would say is, you know, eat well. Don't just look at being on a diet for a small amount of time. Mm. Look at this as a whole lifestyle change. Yes. Absolutely. And that's what we're working on, aren't we, guys? I mean, over the 12 weeks, that's one of the, the core components of this mentoring mm -hmm. program is that you learn to change your lifestyle exactly. um, for the better. Yes. Look, Karen, it's been fantastic talking to you. I could sit here Absolute for hours pleasure. and talk to you. Karen will be um, mentoring you over the next two weeks in her blog. And you can also ask Karen any questions, as you know, with the other bloggers that we've had. Um, that's been a terrific idea for anyone that needs to ask any questions to Karen, because I'm sure there's probably a few out there. But generally speaking, get to a naturopath and get yourself sorted. I think that's the way to do it. And this is going to be just all about benefiting you and your health and well-being. So thanks, Karen. Absolute pleasure. Thank you, Annette. Bye now.